The Lee Phillips Show, brought to you by Tidy House. Lee's special guests, songstress Connie Boswell and Dr. Willis J. Potts. And now, here's Lee. Connie Boswell has been twice voted America's number one female vocalist. Not only is she an outstanding singer, but Connie's also a very fine dog trainer. So you'll meet Connie Boswell and her dog, Rebel. And Dr. Potts is going to be talking to you about life-saving serum. Now, each day, when I tell you about Tidy House, I'm talking about Pillsbury's Home Care Center, where people work hard to make your housework easier. Isn't it wonderful that people really care enough to develop products for modern housewives? Products like Tidy House Dexol, the bleach that's safe for fabrics you never dared bleach before. Tidy House Perfects, the sudsless, rinseless, heavy-duty cleaner. Tidy House Super Borax with hexachlorophene to go after more kinds of germs and bacteria in the wash than any other borax. And Tidy House Spring Rain Water Conditioner to rinse away detergent gray to give you a cleaner, softer wash. Each day, I'll show you how Tidy House products work together, how they can help you. Products from Tidy House the Pillsbury Company's home care center, where people work hard to make your housework easier. Well, now we'd like you to meet our guest, Connie Boswell, famous singer, and her dog, Rebel. Hello there, Lee. How are you? Fine, thank you. Well, Connie, I was reading about you today, and it said that what you learned you to play the cello, the saxophone, the clarinet. What are some of the others? Well, I, uh... Here, come here, boy. He's falling <laughs> on the thing. Hold um, on, Rebel. Uh, I did, uh study cello when I was quite a little tot, about mm -hmm. four years old. Oh, he's getting tired. Let me just turn him around oh, here. Right, Come here, sure. boy. Come on. Yeah. He's like I am, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, of it. Uh, I started cello, Lee, when I was four years old, mm -hmm. and um, uh, but I didn't study any of the other instruments, but I loved music so dearly, and I come from a musical family. <laughs> sure. So I... Um, I'm trying to keep his attention so he doesn't try to get down. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll well, give you that you later. You'll be a good boy. When did you start training dogs? Uh, well, the, I always had a dog, but uh, in between times when I didn't have one, why, uh, I would train the neighbor's dogs. It was a hobby, you know, when I was a little girl. And I always loved, I love all animals. And um, so uh, to get back to the music, I started uh, uh, the cello and I learned music but that way. But I love the piano and guitar and all instruments. So the rest of the instruments that I play, Lee, I taught myself. Good for you. That's a good boy. You have some tricks that you accomplish with Rebel that are uh, almost unbelievable. Well, I'll tell Would you, you uh, I, I'm a professional trainer. Say that this is one of the hardest things that you can train a dog to do. And uh, we'll try to do it now if he's not too hungry. Now take it. Now hold it. Now you just hold that. I'll give it back to Connie. Drop it. Drop it. It's hard to do. <laughs> yeah, reluctantly you did it. Now, would you give me a kiss? Kiss. Okay. Now, take this little piece. Now, hold it. Okay. Now, hold it. Hold it. Okay. <laughs> Not many people would do that, would well, they? Well, he can? does a lot of things, and he loves to pose, you know. Sometimes when the... Uh, Cameraman won't take a picture, you know. I'll say, well, come on, we're going to take a picture. Now, open your mouth like you're singing. Open your mouth. Hurry up. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he does all kinds of little tricks. We don't have enough time to show sure. all of them. He, he dances and he sings when I take him to hospitals many times. You know, the crippled children's hospitals and all these little tots are around in their wheelchairs and with their bandages and, yeah. and the crutches and the braces. And when they come in, they, they actually, we're always asked to sing a lot of songs, but... These little tots, they don't want to hear someone like myself come in there and saying, what kind of fool am I? So I put little crazy hats on him. Mm -hmm. Hey, quiet, you know, like this sort of thing. Steady. Him up you know, there. and I fix him up like this and put a little thing on the side of him. And he stands there, and when I say sing, he starts, Arr, you know, <laughs> along with me. And the children get a big Why, kick out of it. Of course they do. Connie, mm -hmm. you have a, a philosophy of life that we're anxious to hear about. Well, I'll tell you, if you don't mind, I'm going to let him get out of these hot lights. Right, they make an sure. animal kind of restless. Sure, you take that, do. Rebel, and you go home now. Go ahead. We'll see you later, Rebel. Yes. Thanks for stopping Goodbye. by. Goodbye. <laughs> go with Eric. He may stay with us. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, there. You go. Go ahead. Uh, well, my philosophy is very uh, simple, I think, Lee. Uh, many people listening in might not know it, 
uh, perhaps many do not know it or have forgotten it, but I had polio when I was three years old, and I was paralyzed from the top of my head right down to my toe. I couldn't move anything. They had to feed me through a tube. And, of course, uh, when I was four years old, Lee, let's face it, that was not exactly last Tuesday. And uh, we didn't have all these vaccines and iron lungs, and we didn't have the knowledge that they have today. And, of course, they're still working on it, but uh, not, they knew nothing about it when I was a child. And um, so my mother just started in a kind of a logical way, and uh, she started trying to make me crawl all over again to get the strength back. And, and uh, within about six months after I had polio, the strength in my arms came back a little bit. And as I said, my, my family uh, are musical. And um, mother wanted me to study cello, all classical music. And of course, the practicing, you know, the, and I loved it. I adored it. And uh, I think uh, practicing the cello helped bring a lot of strength back into my arms. And uh, I believe that that's a good philosophy in itself. Uh, people who, well, who even aren't handicapped or don't know that they're handicapped, because in my way of thinking, everyone is handicapped in some way or other. Um, if a fine violinist has to get in a ring with a trained prize fighter, he is definitely handicapped one way or other. But uh, the so-called handicapped people who have had accidents or blind people or can't hear, you just have to work twice as hard or sometimes ten times harder. I know. Uh, going by myself, I have had to work so much harder than the average person. Uh, when I'd play theaters, the Roxy in uh, New York City, uh, they had big production numbers, and they didn't want you sitting low in a wheelchair. So we got an idea where I would sit on a tall cocktail stool and put the dress around, and I learned to kick my feet out so that when I'd come with two course boys bringing me out all dressed up that I looked like I was walking at the time. And my, my philosophy is that everyone has a certain amount of talent. God gives us all something, and we must seek to find out what that something is and just work as hard as we can to do the best we can with what we've got. And we must be able to face uh, obstacles and try to climb over them. As uh, someone said many, many years ago before all of us, uh, obstacles are only stepping stones to success. And I think that if we just keep trying, all of us can do a lot more than we ever thought we could. And that's my philosophy. No matter what the problem is, just keep working hard to try to overcome it. You might not overcome the whole thing, but you'll get so far that it'll, it'll just be surprising what you can do. Well, Connie, that's very inspirational. We want to thank you so much for being with us. Oh, not at all, Lee. It's a pleasure. Again, our thanks to Connie Boswell. You know, it's interesting how you never think of water as hard or soft, except when you're doing your washing. And then, if you live in a hard water area, you really need Tidy House Spring Rain Water Conditioner to rinse away detergent gray. You see, hard water contains minerals that make even a so-called hard-working detergent do less than its proper job. And that's why your clothes often come out looking gray or drab. But Tidy House Water Conditioner suspends these minerals so they can't battle your detergent. With Tidy House Water Conditioner, your detergent works as hard as it was meant to. And then, when it comes time for rinsing, dirt and detergent are rinsed out quickly and thoroughly. You've rinsed away detergent gray. Well, your entire wash comes out looking softer, cleaner, fresher smelling. Next wash day, when you add detergent, be sure you also add spring rain water conditioner from Tidy House. Have your children had all of their immunization shots yet? Well, our guest, Dr. Willis J. Potts, who is our medical specialist, He's going to talk about immunization today, and with him, he has a very nice little girl, five years old. Her name is Lynn Shafchuk. And, Doctor, do you think that most children have the necessary immunization shots? Not the majority. The majority, yes, but unfortunately, about 20 to 30 percent of children do not have these injections. And it's so important because it's so easy to protect a child when uh, uh, they can avoid these diseases so easily. Well, Lynn has had all of her shots, hasn't she? Did you have your shots, honey? Where did they give them to you? Huh? Did you have them in your arm? Where'd they give the injections? I don't know. You don't? Did you cry? But then you didn't care afterwards, did you? Didn't hurt long, did it? No. Well, you know, I thought it might be worthwhile to say something about this immunization business and when it should be done. So many people ask, when should they have when should children have these injections? So I have a list 
gotten from the American Academy of Pediatrics. And I would like to show you the age and the immunization schedule. Beginning at two months, they get diphtheria, whooping cough, tetanus, and those are called DPT. And they also get the first shot, or not the first shot, the first dose of Sabin vaccine, which is taken by mouth. And at three months, DTP again with another dose of Sabin vaccine. And at four months, a repetition with the number three polio vaccine. Then in the next chart, we see that at nine months, the child has measles vaccine. Now, measles vaccine should be given to all children because it's a treacherous disease and they can be protected. At 12 months, smallpox vaccination and a test for tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is often hidden. And then at 15 months, they get another booster dose of DTP and a booster dose of all three strains of polio. After that, there are some injections that need to be given according to the doctor's wishes. But it's so easy. Oh, a little painful, but you didn't cry much, did you? It's no. over in a moment it's or two. It's over in a moment, and then they are protected. And it's certainly worthwhile, isn't it, doctor? It is so vastly worthwhile. Are you a happy little gal? You have fun at home? You know why? Why, why, do kids, uh, why are some kids happy and so adaptable? I should uh, think that they maybe reflect their parents in, the, in some sense. Nothing could be nearer the truth. I thought, you know, uh, as I was sitting here talking with this little dolly, uh, there is no such thing, is there? <laughs> are you a good girl? Sure. There is no such thing as a bad child. Let's talk about that next week. All right. That's a good idea, Dr. Putz. Thank you so much for being with us. Nice to be here. Lynn, thank you very much for being our guest. Lynn Shafchuk, just five years old. Dr. Potts will be with us again next week. I'd like to tell you about another wonderful product from Tidy House, Perfex Cleaner, the powdered household cleaner that cuts deep into dirt and grease as no liquid can. Now, Perfex has a new sudsless, rinseless formula that makes it much easier to clean today's modern floors. To prove it, we've dirtied up a special piece of flooring made of vinyl, plastic, and asphalt tile, linoleum, and painted surface. See how Perfex cleans clean? And notice it's sudsless. No suds to clean up mean no time spent on rinsing. And Perfex doesn't stop at just cleaning floors. It can help you do almost all your hard-to-do household cleaning jobs. Another nice thing about Perfex is that it's odorless. Try new no suds, no rinse, no odor, Perfex Cleaner on tough cleaning jobs. Perfex, another fine product from Tidy House. Be sure you have plenty of Perfex on hand in your home and all the Tidy House products. Well, now we'd like to show you three very attractive fall and winter hats. The first one is in sort of light shades of green, and it's both velvet and satin. The second one is for afternoon or evening wear. It's a little bit more dressy. It's a white satin. And the third one, very casual, of make-believe leopard. Now, you can have one of these hats, and you can win it. And this is all you have to do. Put your name and address on a postcard with an idea that's been helpful to you, maybe how to remove a stain from a rug or how to relax when you're all tense. Put the idea, make it as brief as possible, and your name and address on a postcard, and mail it to this program in care of Post Office Box 1450, Chicago, Illinois. That's Post Office Box 1450, Chicago, Illinois. Each day, we'll pull out a lucky card, and maybe you'll win yourself a hat. We'll be looking for you tomorrow at the same time. Have a nice day. Bye. The Lee Phillips Show is brought to you each weekday by Tidy House.